Hey everybody, happy Monday! Happy Monday everyone, we've got a cool video in store for you today. We are back with the color selection video. We've done a number of videos now on how to choose fish based on color. We've done greens, we've done orange, we've done white. They will all be in the description below. Today, why not do yellow? Yellow. Yellow is a really cool color. It can add a lot of vibrancy to your tank. And so here are some suggestions for some cool yellow fish. Now we're going to start out with some more community type fish, but we'll get into some more of the unusual stuff as well. So what do we got? What's first? For the community side, I would say lemon tetras. Lemon tetras are cool. Right. They have a yellowish tinge to them, mm -hmm. yellowish kind of color. You can get them in a nice big group. They're going to add that splash of yellow look especially cool if you've got a darker background with a darker substrate. And so that fish is definitely going to give you a little bit of yellow. The other fish, if you're again looking for that type of fish that's going to be kept in groups, is the gold barb. Now I know mm -hmm. the gold barb is more gold, so I guess a caveat to this is some of the fish that we talk about are going to have some gold color to them too, but gold, yellow, what's the difference? They're same all thing. basically the same. Yeah. So yes, the gold barb is going to give you another option for that schooling type of fish with a lot of nice color. What else you got? Well, one of my favorites would be uh, the honey grummy, the gold honey grummy. The gold honey grommy is pretty cool. They come in a couple different varieties. You've got the red honey grommy and the gold. They're going to stay small. They've got a great personality. If you've got a decent sized tank, like 20 gallons or more, you can keep multiples in those tanks. I really like the gold honey grommy. It's just one of those curious little fish that are constantly pecking off of stuff and looking for food. Another fish. You've got your live bears, and there's a lot of options here. Option number one, a lot of the platies are yellow. Mm. We just picked up some platies, the twin bar platy. They've got a lot of yellow with a, lot, a black outline on the tail fin. That's cool. What else? Mollies. Absolutely. I've seen some cool yellow mollies, especially the liar tail mollies. Mm. Those are really pretty fish. Some of your sword tails can be yellow. One of your favorites. Well, one of my favorites is the Florida Least Killy, super small. It's the seventh smallest freshwater fish, and they come in gold. They do. There's a couple different varieties. I really like those, the gold Florida Least Killy, a really pretty fish. Now, you also still have the guppies and the endlers. Mm -hmm. And so there are yeah. guppy and endlers that are going to be yellow in color. And so again, you get these live bears that are kind of crazy, and they're all over the tank, and they're nice, friendly community fish. So a couple of fun little choices that I'm gonna, I don't know, lump them in together. One of them would be shrimp. And one of my favorite shrimp right now, as we speak, are the yellow shrimp. Yeah. From Flip Aquatics. Yeah, the yellow Neocaridina shrimp. They're really cool, bright mm -hmm. yellow, almost oh like a gosh. fluorescent yellow. They're pretty yes. cool. You also have, and I think the other thing you were gonna mention was the gold mystery snails. Yeah. That provides a lot of yellow color as well. Again, both of those are good for that community tank where you got really, really tiny fish like the Florida least killie that we just mentioned. Sometimes the shrimp with larger fish, they don't do so well, but still, if you're looking for that yellow color and you want something different besides a fish, those can work out well. The gold Chinese algae eater. Now this is a fish you'd better have a fairly semi, like semi-aggressive to aggressive fish tank. Maybe you've got some cichlids, but if you're looking for kind of a fish with some yellow, the gold Chinese algae eater can be that fish for you. <laughs> Speaking of cichlids, there are a number of different types. I think probably one of the main ones that everybody thinks about when you think of yellow fish is the yellow lab. That is an absolutely fantastic fish. And probably out of all the fish we talk about today, the most yellow fish of That's them all. The now this is an Mbuna cichlid. So you're gonna to wanna to keep these fish with other African cichlids, especially the Mbuna. We like to do Mbuna only tanks. Every once in a while we'll mix some peacock cichlids with Mbuna, but Definitely not a community fish here. What else we got? Well, how about the lemon jakes? Yep, the lemon jakes are really cool. Peacock cichlids, also from Lake Malawi. They have a nice bit of yellow to them as well. Speaking of African cichlids, you've got the uh, lelupai. Now there are two varieties here. I'm showing you the orange variety because we don't have the yellow, but just use your imagination here. It's this fish only with a little bit more yellow color. Really cool. This is, again, a fish from Lake Tanganyika, an African cichlid. So if you wanted to set up a Lake Tanganyika tank and you wanted a yellow fish, the Leilupai might be a really good addition. Another group of fish that are going to have a lot, a lot of yellow color, Severums. The gold Severums in yeah. particular. 
These, they call them gold severums, but they really basically are yellow, and they're really pretty fish. They even have the gold red spot severums, which are cool. They have a little bit of yellow mixed in with all those, that red highlight, but these are cool fish. Other types of South and Central American cichlids, uh, I've seen yellow angelfish before. Those can be really nice. One of the fish that are kind of on your radar lately. Oh, discus. Yeah, they have yellow discus as well. Those are really pretty. Beautiful. If you're looking for something that's gonna stay a little bit smaller, I think a lot of people overlook rainbow fish. Now this is a, a smaller new world cichlid and relatively peaceful. They do love to eat plants, but they happen to show a decent amount of yellow color as well. And then another one is one of my personal favorites, always has been, the ram. Yeah, they come in a number of different color variations, and one of them is the electric yellow ram. It's kind of hard to say, electric yellow ram, yeah, but it is a cool fish. Yeah. Very pretty fish, certainly going to add that yellow color. So those were some options if you're looking for yellow fish. We've given you some community fish, we've given you some African cichlids, some South and Central American cichlids, even a few invertebrates. Again, if you want more potential color options, check out the videos in the description below. Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.